Hey there, YouTube. Um, now that my project has reached a somewhat mature state, um, I thought I'd make uh, a video, just a showcase video. Um, the last video was more of an installation thing. Um, I just want to give you um, a showcase sort of my uh, my own workflow and my own project um, with the text abyss thing. Um, so I'm using Sigwin on Windows, and uh, I usually just uh, open up a Sigwin window and I type Vim, and um, everything usually it loads up like uh, um, pretty automatically. I have uh, you know all my settings configured so this is kind of a mature mature type configuration um yeah i have a few other tabs open but i usually open right to the text abyss window and uh i press f10 usually to load it and um this gives me the usual uh panning and scrolling stuff and uh this is what i'm working on right now um it, this is my you know my current um it loads uh my where i left off last time so i i'm kind of always in the uh in the right place. Um, so I thought in this video I'll just do uh, sort of walk over um, the whole development and uh, sort of what I've been working on. So I open up the map and um, I uh, let's just go to the origin. Um, this is when I first started doing this whole text abyss thing. Um, uh, I started writing. I, I'm I'm always writing and working on the uh, text abyss. So I'm writing in the text abyss and I'm trying to add features to it as well same time and um, this was before the map which is why the map here is completely empty um, I started writing at this point and uh, as you can see it's kind of uh, you know it's fairly still fairly unstructured right here all I had was the uh, the panning options um, and this is a uh, you know it's just lots and lots of text it's hard to it's kind of hard to orient yourself still um, if we look at the map uh, this is when I actually I I first implemented the map. It's a uh, it's labeled map zero. Um, it you know and uh, I started using a bit more blank spaces. Uh, but when I first conceived the map, I conceived it as a bunch of index cards. So um, I would you know I would actually tend to uh, I you know I tend to organize things in uh, in in squares. I guess that's not really even clear here. But uh, for example, right here, I would I imagine like a sort of index card right here. And I would pan down and like see another um, card, sort of like that. Um, right here, I have the full uh, in the map. It's it's a uh, H O D right here. It's a full text of Heart of Darkness, and this is kind of the one of the cool features of the text abyss is that it allows you to um, have a full text in your workplace and um, uh, lets you comment, sort of give margin notes to what you're doing. So, uh, for example, here if we zoom in, um, I'm, I have on the left side. There's no real need attention. Need you don't need to pay attention to what I'm writing, of course, but um, you know, you can, uh, I, have a, I have a set of paragraphs of the uh, text of the Heart of Darkness, and you can sort of, um, on the left side, give margin notes here. Um, and, uh, you know, I have the same thing here for the Faulkner story of Rose for Emily, and I have some minor notes on here uh, as I'm reading it. So um, that's one of the cool things about that uh, working with multiple columns can sort of give you. Um, uh, well, over here is when the abyss, sort of, uh, the plane <laughs> wraps around. Um, so if I keep on panning. This goes back to the very beginning. Um, you can, you can of course, uh, add columns as you wish. Um, it's actually, uh, the whole thing is written in scripting language, which usually means it's very slow. But uh, Vim itself is efficient enough. And computers are fast enough so that, um, you know, it's, uh, there's no noticeable slowdown, at least in my computer, which is, uh, it's just not a brand new computer, really. It's just, uh, it's all text, so the calculations I, f I think are fairly fast. Um, uh, at this point, I started adding in in the uh, at this point in the uh, in the the, so the program itself. I started adding in stuff like colored maps, which is why um, the map itself gets a bit more colorful. Uh, I'm still not really using a, a lot of colors. I still have to work out what the colors mean. Um, this right down here is just a little. Um, little debugging thing I wrote uh, just to make sure all the colors work uh, so right now I'm at this point which is a which is a fairly somewhat mature state um, I'm still I still have a few features I want to add to it but um I mean I guess what I figured out sort of was that uh it's it's good to use blank spaces um, blank spaces sort of uh, you know um, space out everything and sort of organize things uh, I've, I've been experimenting with blank spaces and trying to um, trying to write in structures where I sort of remember. Um, so here, here, uh, if I zoom out a bit more, here I'm, you know, it's the text is very sparse. I'm sort of uh, writing in um, a, a stream, I guess. Um, 
I try, I try, I try uh, like sometimes I have, I, 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 there's forks I want to take, but I actually don't really pursue forks. Maybe that's the part of the way of, of how we work. Um, we really don't, when we write prose, we tend not to fork our ideas as much as we might think. Um, so it's, uh, I'm writing right to left and left to right. I'm trying to, trying to conceive of some scheme to, you know, um, spatially organize my writing somehow, uh, Right now, I mean, this 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 looks like a uh, a straight line to the left, but I'm trying to I'm trying to f fork a few ideas here. Uh, these are a few a few separate ideas that I would like to you know pursue independently, and that's kind of something you can do. Um, the next thing about the plane actually is that you can uh, keep um, keep a sort of headline keep a sort of summary in in view. So, for example, uh, oppression. It's not as literal as it sounds, but um, you know. Um, you have this heading, and if you want to keep this heading in view, this title in view, um, let me highlight it if I can. Um, if you want to keep this in view, you can just sort of uh, write around it, I guess. And uh, this kind of comes out in the map a bit. Um, I sort of color this red, and uh, I'm trying to like sort of write around it. Um, so uh, yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of cool things you can do. A lot of things I sort of learned as I'm going along, and. Um, I think it's I think it's better than any other system I've used. Um, I've gone through personal wikis and uh, you know uh, pff, what else is there like uh, desktop ind indexing. Um, I've tried of course files and folders. I've I've tried various other things, but um, you know whatever project you're working on, your ideas are pretty fundamentally fundamentally connected. Um, assuming you're writing um, you know uh, thoughtful stuff and not you know just uh, reports here and there. So um, basically because all these ideas are connected. Um, um, you know, I feel like uh, it's better to have one one big one big sheet of paper, so, which is sort of what this looks like. Uh, that's the inspiration behind Text Abyss. Um, I mean, it works for me, and I'm trying to make it general enough to be uh, uh, to to work for everyone. Um, I I really I really think it's a good idea, and I hope other people use it. Um, so if you're interested, uh, this is the t w website. Um, it gives you. Uh, I try to make it as simple as possible. I try to use the mnemonics whenever possible. Um, help is also available on, in the script, but usually by typing F1, um, F10 and F1. So uh, you can go through that. The map is uh, the map is pretty cool. Um, you know, uh, one of the nice things about the map is that uh, you can plan out cells beforehand. So over here, I'm, I have this um, a minor project that actually course doesn't really correspond to text. It's, it's just blank. But um, you, I kind of have cells written off beforehand. And hopefully I can go back and fill those in. Um, so that's another option that the map gives you. Uh, so, thanks for watching. And uh, this is sort of a presentation of a more mature version of the text abyss. Thank you.